Welcome back everybody, I hope you're all doing very well. We've previously checked out Fishman's triple play system for the guitar. It's a wireless MIDI pickup that lets you trigger MIDI instruments in your computer. There is a mounting system and a little dongle that goes along with it, and you guys know that I'm a big fan of that particular unit. I've used it on a couple of my live looping videos, and it's a really great way to make synthesizers accessible for non-synth players like myself. The only cumbersome thing about it is that I don't own a laptop, so if I wanted to take those sounds out and play them live, I don't really have a way to do it. But I do have an iPad, which is very, very, very portable, and I do have this, the Fishman Triple Play Connect, which is uh, relatively new. It's come out this year. It's basically a streamlined version of the Triple Play that uh, connects via a cable. It comes with a uh, lightning cable and it comes with a USB cable. So if you just want to use it with your computer via USB, you can use it in exactly the same way you use the regular Triple Play pickup. But with a lightning cable, for my iPad anyway, it means that I can hook up their Triple Play Connect app and trigger MIDI sounds from it, which is pretty fantastic. There's a bunch of really high quality sounds in there from the likes of native instruments. So it's more or less plug and play. I'm not gonna go into like the setup of this particular thing. It's pretty well outlined in the instructions and on Fishman's website and on their videos, but you don't need to modify your guitar at all to mount this thing. And it kind of just clips in by the strap, which is really nice. There are two buttons on the controller on here and a thumb wheel. So it's nice and streamlined. You basically just plug it into your iPad and download the free Connect app and you've got this whole zoo full of cool sounds. I also checked it out uh, just by connecting GarageBand in my iPad and you can also use this to trigger sounds in there, which I think is a really cool added bonus. But the Connect app is really where the party's at. So let's get straight into that guy now. All right, let's start by listening to some of the sounds and then we are gonna get into some more of the functionality with the Connect app. There's actually a lot more than meets the eye going on here. So I doubt I will cover all of it, but we wanna hear some sounds, right? Let's start off with a piano. Now we can have up to two sounds in here that we can either layer or create a split with. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna start with a CP80 electric piano sound. Electric piano is like one of my favorite instrument sounds of all time. And this is what the stock one sounds like. Then we can add some effects, then we can layer it and split it. That's really, really nice. What you can do is go in and you can EQ that. There is a graphic EQ that you can use. There's also a transposition function. You can also uh, fine tune like the attack and release time as well as a dynamic response. I'll just leave that. Uh, you can also go in and have stuff like automatic chord triggers. There's an arpeggiator and you can set the key. So awesome stuff. If you're synth minded, really, really standard stuff. But if you're like me and you're a bum, a guitar player who doesn't know much about this stuff, you can just like set up auto chords. Like I'll just turn that on and let's see what it does. That's pretty awesome. I'm sure well, I actually don't know. I haven't had the time to explore it yet, but I'm sure you can have like diatonic shifts in there as well. So that's pretty awesome. I really, really like that. But what's really cool is the effects section. At the moment, you can see there's a bit of chorus and a little bit of reverb on. So let's turn the trem on. That's awesome. And we can load up like a bunch of other stuff. There's amp sims, cabinet sims, delays. Ooh, let's put like a modulated delay on the tempo sync. The left right ratio is three quarters, which I like. Uh, this is super cool. And we can have a little bit of pitch modulation in there. Let's just have a listen to this. If I've got my regular pickups running through a rig as well, I can of course employ my usual guitar sound and blend this in and that sounds really great too.
So we've got effects, we've got EQ, we've got those auto chords. I'm gonna turn sound two on, which is a string sound. Let's just have a listen to how that sounds uh, on its own, then with the electric piano, then with the electric piano and my normal electric guitar. <laughs> Get some electric piano in there. And I'll add my electric guitar to that now. That is so nice. I've got control over being able to patch up and down through various things from here as well. I don't just have to use the touch screen on there. So I can go through different keyboard sounds or different string sounds or any other instrument. What I think is really cool, I'm gonna to go to like a lead sound over here on my guitar. Uh, sounds dirty like this. <laughs> Now, what I've always, always enjoyed is the sound of like, uh, you know, like the old Rainbow Records and the old Yngwie Malmsteen Records where you have like unison guitar and synthesizer. So I'll turn sound two off. I'm gonna bring up on sound one some kind of synth. There are these really cool lead sounds in there. Let's go for, ooh, let's just go for super lead. That must be pretty good, right? Let's hear that. That's pretty cool. What about another sound? We can have like a big pad on there. There's one called uh, Los Vangeles. Uh, if you're a massive fan of the Blade Runner soundtrack like I am, you can do this uh, just from the convenience of your guitar. And you've got bass sounds, sax sounds, just about everything you could possibly imagine going on in there. And I really like the ability to blend between, you know, guitar and another instrument. Uh, let's just try an organ really quickly because another thing I really like is B3 style stuff with electric guitar, you know, because I love Deep Purple. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> I don't really have everything leveled out perfectly there, but you can turn the volume up here, which sounds like this. And you could, of course, go in and EQ that and add effects in there. So yeah, this is really scratching the surface of the sounds. That is just in the main mode. There is another mode where you can go in and load pre-recorded samples onto like a touchpad style thing, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, furthermore, there is like an audio editor part, so you can actually go in and trim stuff down uh, and, you know, kind of get it to work or stretch it out, do all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a little bit overwhelming. Uh, I've only had this for about a week and I feel like I've just done a tiny little amount, but I've been having so much fun with it. So let's look at some of that deeper functionality now. You can also do live looping in the Triple Play app, which I think is very, very handy. So I've got this electric piano sound loaded up and I have got this ensemble string sound loaded up. I'm just gonna turn the sound on for the audio clips and for the electric piano, I'll turn the strings 
sound on in a second. But if you hit the record button, it will bring up the looper menu and you can either have it set to be like a free record or you can set the number of bars. So I'm gonna set it to two bars and I'm gonna to go to loop one, that'll be two bars and basically it will give me a click as a count in and then I can play some stuff and then I can basically play another loop. You can have up to six loops in here and I can trigger them individually. So let's see how good I am with this thing when it comes to the live looping thing. We will start with the electric piano. I better make sure I've got my electric piano sound. I stopped the wrong loop at the end there, but that's the idea. You can basically set up a live looping performance. Uh, if you can get your hands free, of course, there is also a triple play foot controller, which would control a lot of these functions as well. And I mean, the string part on that was a little bit nuggety, and I probably could have gone through and added some bass or something like that. The guitar sounds I should mention as well are coming from my Axe FX. So I'm routing the iPad into the Axe FX. I'm using the real pickups to get my guitar sounds, and then I'm triggering all the synth pickups together. The other thing that I really, really like with this kind of setup, and I think probably the most like uh, functional and pragmatic way to use it is to actually trigger sounds, for example, like that electric piano sound or the string sound. So I'll turn the audio clips off and I just put the sounds on, but have them blend together with your natural guitar sound. So I can turn the uh, little thumb wheel here on the triple play connect pickup and I could have my guitar sound. <laughs> But then if I wanted to go and trigger loops, only the MIDI stuff would be looping. So that's pretty awesome. I also found that just by plugging this in and loading up GarageBand on the iPad that all the stock sounds in GarageBand worked as well. And I also found that just plugging it via USB into my computer, all the stock sounds in my soft synths worked as well. So we're gonna have a look at some of the trigger functions really quickly now, and then we'll wrap it all up. And yeah, there's just so much going on, it's pretty awesome. Before we go, I want to showcase one really unique feature that you can get with the Connect app and the Triple Play Connect. You can use this to trigger loops and single shot samples by playing frets on your guitar. And I've got one of the demo sessions that comes with the Connect app loaded in. Uh, let's just have a little jam and see what I can come up with. All I have to do is go through and turn the individual sounds off. So I'll leave audio clips on 
and then the sound's off. So I just do that and uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna do. There you go, so you can actually use your guitar the way a DJ would use something like a touchpad controller and have it set up there. That's just one of the demo sessions, but there's no reason why you can't load your own pre-recorded samples or make loops and have them trigger. There's a lot, a lot of possibilities going on here. I know these are just built-in sounds, and uh, you know, if you're like a rock guitar player, you might not be super interested in triggering EDM sounds and having a jam like that. But it's really easy to imagine how you could have that set up with a bunch of pre-recorded loops that are already in the same key and also use your live guitar sound on top of it. Uh, this is something that, you know, I've had this thing for about a week now and I still haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what you can do with this. And it's probably the one feature that I really, really want to explore. The fact that it's in an iPad app as well, like you don't need a separate controller or, any, or anything like that. Um, you can also use the touch pads as well to trigger sounds, but that's a really, really quick look at what you can do with the Triple Play Connect app. I want to do an in-depth video down the line using this and setting up some stuff and actually making some music with it. So look out for that one whenever I can figure it out. But uh, for now, I think that's a pretty amazing feature. There's a lot of features that I didn't get to touch on, such as the recording capabilities with the Kinect app. And I also want to see if it works on acoustic guitar because I do a lot of live looping duo gigs and the ability to trigger loops, single shot samples and keyboard sounds would be super, super cool if I can get that set up to work. I don't know if it's designed to work with acoustic guitar. I imagine that the different architecture and all the extra vibration going on with the acoustic guitar might introduce some problems, but that's a video that I definitely want to do, and I do want to do some more in-depth videos with this particular product. I think the most pragmatic way to integrate this, though, is to have it playing while you're playing your existing guitar sound. I really like the way that sounds, and I'm definitely going to be using this in a bunch of my upcoming videos, like my Sunday videos that I do. So, yeah, there's a taste of the Fishman Triple Play Connect. The other great thing is that, like I said earlier, it's plug and play with your computer as a MIDI controller as well. So if you didn't want to pay the full price for a Fishman triple play wireless controller and you don't need the wireless functionality, this is quite a bit cheaper than the regular triple play and it works every bit as good in my opinion, if not a little bit better because you do have that wired connection. So if you're somebody who doesn't have an iPad and you are looking at getting a triple play for the studio or to use with your laptop, then the triple play connect is a great plug and play solution as well. As always, get your questions in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys if you want to see some more content with this particular device. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. Stay excellent.